It was the most intense congressional race in Colorado, certainly one of the most closely watched in the entire country. Republican Mike Kaufman lost his seat in District 6 to political newcomer Jason Crow. Kelly Worthman live at Crow's election party. Kelly, they got a lot to celebrate. <laughs> Jim and Karen, I'm sure you can hear it. There's still a lot of cheers and excitement here in Greenwood Village at the Doubletree Hotel, where even though Congressman-elect Jason Crow gave his victory speech just about a couple hours ago, folks are still here celebrating. Jason Crow made history in Colorado, becoming the first Democrat to represent District 6 ever. He says he is very humbled and excited to serve Colorado. He thanked all of his supporters, like I said, many of whom are still here tonight. He made sure to thank his family, including his young kids, who he said just stood by his side, were some of his strongest supporters. But he also made sure to thank his opponent, Mike Kaufman, for a very spirited campaign. He made sure to say that Kaufman and his supporters are not the enemy, that politics is not war. And he also talked a lot about his experience as an Army Ranger, as a veteran, and that he'll be drawing on those oaths that he took years ago to serve this country and to rebuild a Congress that has been corrupt, he says, for far too long. When I think about how we rebuild, I think about the oath I took as an Army Ranger to go further, run faster, and fight harder than any other, to shoulder more than my share of the task, and to leave no one behind, and to never, ever embarrass my country. That's the attitude that built this country, and that's what I'm going to bring to Washington. Tonight, we started a new chapter in the story of our democracy. There is a new generation of servant leaders on its way to Washington. And Jason Crow, Congressman-elect Jason Crow, says he is very excited to get to work, working on things like gun reform, immigration reform, issues that he says he knows are very important to the people here in District 6. And again, he is ready to get to work. Jim, Karen. All right. Kelly, thanks so much. Our Jeff Todd is at the Republican Election Night headquarters in Lone Tree. Jeff, Kaufman was often targeted but never defeated until tonight. Jim, he was almost defiant in his speech that he gave conceding tonight, saying that gerrymandering changed his district, diversifying it. But three times he had been in close races and won. Tonight, he blamed the president. It was a referendum on the president. In the end, the waves were too big for this ship of ours to stay afloat. We've shocked the political world in the last three elections, but tonight it wasn't to be. But even when Washington power brokers walked away from our race, you didn't quit, I didn't quit, we didn't quit. Now, Congressman Ken Buck, who did win his district, said that as the House turns to the Democrats, he said his job now is to make sure that the Democrats do not attack President Trump. Jim, back to you. All right, Jeff Todd, thanks so much for all your coverage tonight.